what is skip gen travel and why is it one of the hottest trends in family travel for this year stay tuned to find out and hit the bell to get notified when i publish videos on family travel tricks tips and inspiration and more i'm christina i'm a traveler a planner and most importantly a mom I'm sharing my best tips to make traveling as a family a little less stressful. So put down your phone, pack your bags, and let's showcase the world. Skip Gen Travel, also known as gramping, is a growing travel trend of grandparents and grandkids traveling together without the children's parents. So it's like a multi-gen trip, but you're taking up that middle generation, so it's a skip gen, you're skipping that generation. My name's Christina and I am a family travel advisor specializing in helping families take a break from the busy and planning a vacation that the whole family can love. A lot of times that does mean multi-generational trips with grandma and grandpa and coming up with um, experiences for grandma and grandpa to, down to toddlers and infants and making sure the whole family enjoys it. So why am I seeing this trend of skipping a generation? Well, I don't know about you, but this last year, I love my child dearly, but spending 18 months nonstop with her has led to parental pandemic fatigue. Um, and we've all spent a ton of time with our kids over the past year. Our parents have not spent as much time, especially if your parents live further away or they're older. They really weren't able to spend the time with their grandkids that they would have liked. Your you had to deal with distance learning, so you want nothing to do with your kids anymore. Your grand, the grandparents missed their time with their grandchildren. And, you know, with grandparents being the first to be vaccinated, they're wanting to travel more and more. And we've definitely seen um, the, the boomers leading the travel trends um, as we're, we're in, we're fully in 2021, but they led the travel trends over the past few months. So it's important when planning a skip gen vacation, you know that your grandparents are vaccinated. They were among the first, but children under 12 still cannot be vaccinated. So you still want to make sure you're still being safe um, and you're making sure that, you know, your child's not able to contract COVID. So driving destinations are the most popular when it comes to skip gen vacations. Um, I'm located in Boston. I did write a blog post very early in the pandemic about the best destinations to drive to from Boston. I'll put a link to that blog post below. Um, but if you do decide to fly, um, make sure that you get a notarized permission from the child's parents that you are able to leave the state with the child. Um, not all airlines ask for it, but it's always good to have. So where are some of the destinations we're ski seeing this skip gen trend happen? National parks is the big one. You know, there's a lot of grandparents out there who've always wanted to see the national parks and they want to experience it with their grandkids. My dad's one of them. He's always wanted to, to rent an RV and go out to the Grand Canyon. It's a very popular destination this year. Hotels are pretty full. Car rentals are difficult to get. RV rentals are even more difficult to get. So if you are thinking about a skip gen vacation to a national park, you might want to wait till next year. But I have some alternatives for Southwest ranches are really fun. There's kids clubs that you can put the kids in the kids clubs. You can enjoy activities together, but you can also, um, you know, if you're, if grandma and grandpa aren't as active, then they can enjoy some time in the spa or golfing or fly fishing, doing something a little less less intense. And the kids can go zip lining with the um, with the camp counselors, depending on the ranch that you pick. I really love the Tonka Verde Ranch in um, in Arizona. That one's one of my favorites, and it's a little bit more on the affordable edge, um, as opposed to a pause up in. Um, Jackson in, in Wyoming is incredible, but it is a, a little bit more on the expensive side. So those are the two ranches that I typically love the most, and you can pick 
based on your budget or your preferred destination. Beach destinations like Hilton Head, Galveston, St. Augustine, and Virginia Beach are really great options as well, especially if you find a hotel with kids camps. Again, you can get um, so a lot of family time together, grandma, grandpa, and the grandkids, um, and you can get some time apart. Kids do things that are a little bit more active and engaging while um, grandma and grandpa head to the spa, or at least that's where I would be if I was traveling with my kids right now. I guess that, that pandemic parental fatigue is real because the idea of hanging out at the spa while someone else takes care of my kid sounds incredible. But what I love about destinations like Hilton Head, Galveston, St. Augustine is there's a lot to do around those. It's not just a beach vacation. Um, in Hilton Head, you can head into Savannah, have a nice meal, do, go to a museum. St. Augustine um, is one of the oldest cities in the country, so that's a really, really fun place as well. You can get that relaxing beach time and then also get some history and culture in there. Same thing with Virginia Beach. You can pair it with Williamsburg. Um, if you're not a beach person, I'm more of a lake person myself. Lakes like Mackinac Island um, out in Michigan, you know, there's no cars allowed on Mackinac Island. Lake George um, in New York, so many activities there. It's a quick drive to Lake Placid. You can um, do alpine adventures even in the summer. You can go bobsledding in the summer. There's no snow on the bobsled, but you can go down um, the chutes views from the 1980 Olympics. You can see where the miracle on ice happened. I know um, when we went there with my dad, that was like, I've seen my dad cry a handful of times, you know, when his father died, when my daughter was born, when we walked into the arena that miracle on ice happened. Um, so that's really a great location, lots of activities. Gatlinburg, Tennessee has a lot as well. A um, ton of different lakes around there, Pigeon Forge, Dollywood. Um, Blackberry Farm is my favorite place to say. It's one of the few, it has an all-inclusive package that you can get. It's not an all-inclusive resort, but you can get your food and beverage included. So you um, it makes things a little bit easier. Blackberry Farm in um, Tennessee is a wonderful, wonderful luxury vacation. If you're not looking for a luxury vacation, though, you can rent a cabin in Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge on a lake and have a really, really fun experience. Um, Moosehead Lake in Tennessee is